Hi, this is Andy Flipiak in Toronto for the week of June the 19th. Last week we saw the Bank of Canada hinting that they may start to raise interest rates, possibly as early as this fall. These comments came kind of as a surprise to many, as with the problems in the subprime lending space currently, interest rates in the short end have already gone up. The Bank of Canada was likely empowered by the strong job numbers last month, 54,000 new jobs, but it may be a little bit tone deaf in terms of the problems that rising short-term rates could have, especially on the Canadian banking system currently. Also of interest, last week the Federal Reserve raised interest rates another quarter of a point to 1%. More importantly, they stated a plan to outline how they will specifically unwind their balance sheet. And this is hugely significant to any investors in the US or anywhere around the world, as an unwinding of the Fed's balance sheet could be huge. Quantitative easing saw the Fed take their balance sheet size from 800 million to $4.5 trillion in an effort to reflate the global economy. What the Fed in effect did was print money out of thin air, buy government bonds, move the bonds into their balance sheet, and all that cash the Fed created found its way into the banking system. Now some was held back through bank deposits at the banks, but what it did was effectively pour water into the bathtub and help all asset prices rise, because all this extra money floating around had to find a home. The same thing happened with other central banks, Japan, China, and Europe. Now what the Fed is saying, they will begin soon in taking money out of the system. That is, selling some of the bonds on their balance sheet for cash in the system, taking the cash, putting it back on their balance sheet, and extinguishing this. This is effectively like pulling the plug on the bathtub. So if people are not paying attention, with less liquidity in the system, it's quite possible asset prices could start to go down. Because one thing about markets, they like to anticipate, and if the Fed is actually going to follow through with this, the financial markets may not like this. It's also important to note that China has also been tightening their credit markets at the same time. More next week. Thanks for watching.